Hello and welcome to another episode of Cool Games. The new here, I hope you're doing fine. Can you be happy and angry at the same time? The answer is yes, you can. You can be happy because uh, Jim from Jim Chess Channel has agreed to play um, a Blitz game with you. If you don't know Jim's Chess Channel, I will link it down below. Go check it out. He's a fantastic, fantastic. Um, YouTube creator. Um, his content is, of course, of, all about chess, and he plays Blitz, and he, then he comments on his games. Very instructive, very entertaining. So he agreed to play these Blitz games with me, and I wanted to, um, uh, let's say, to start, to begin a new chess series on this channel. I recorded everything just to know then afterwards that the screen, the program that I use for recording, didn't record properly the screen so I had to just switch it up a little bit and transform the game into a cool games <laughs> so this means that I just go over uh, the game that I played against Jim and I will post a link down in the description he um, played live of course with me we were playing live and both commentating uh, commenting sorry uh, so that you can see his reactions and then uh, maybe go watch his post mortem as well which is the analysis basically so um, without further ado let's jump right into the game which I of course lost spoiler alert <laughs> uh, and I was Boyd and by the way, we played two games. The first game I was playing black and it was a, such an amazing game. I will post the game down in the description as well. Um, then I asked him to play a second game because my program wasn't recording. And then I just cover, discovered that it wasn't recording anything as well. So um, the game was a Sicilian defense. And he is, of course, much uh, higher rate than me, about uh, 500 rating points, but I managed to um, give him a good fight also because he blundered a piece um, at a certain time. Now, um, a thing that I have to say is that I played all book moves until here uh, without knowing that they were book moves. I just thought with my own head uh, about what I was doing, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of my results up to here. Now, he has um, a tiny bit of an advantage uh, throughout the whole game, uh, throughout the whole sequence of moves. And I was pretty confident that, that I was doing well up to um, up to here. Here I realized that uh, he was threatening to take my, my knight, and if he had taken, then I would have taken back. Then he could have taken with the rook, messing up my king my pawn structure around my king, so I would have done he that if I were him, but he decided to uh, go back, and I decided to weaken my king structure even more, even further, and I was really scared um, when I was playing uh, live against him. So I was just doing uh, not very good, then I decided to push this pawn, which was uh, not the, the optimal move according to the to the engine because I was scared of this push because then if he had taken uh, he had freed he would free up uh, an attack against my my queen I didn't want that to ha that to happen so I just pushed the pawn and I still um, I'm convinced that it was that this was not the worst move and then he blundered the bishop I don't know why. Um, but then I just took, and then he decided to take. Okay, now here, I didn't know what to do, but I ended up doing not the worst move of all time because I have an advantage, and I am, and I actually managed to keep this advantage um, for a little bit. Now I blunder because, um, according to the engine, he could have taken uh, my bishop and then sacrificed his uh, rook to just to take. Uh, a little bit of a material at, uh, of a positional advantage. That's what the engine says. I don't know if you agree or if you don't agree. <laughs> now, there is a series of mistakes by the both of us, according to the software. And this is a mistake, uh, always according to the software. The best move was, um, what was it, what was it? Let me just have a look. The best move was 
rook to e8. How is this possible? Anyway, this was not the best move according to the engine. Um, maybe because he could have taken the um, he could have taken the the pawn or just given check, and then my king would have maybe fleet up right there, and then he could have taken. That's just a possible line, but I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. Um, then I managed to hold on and get an advantage. Now, the very next move is the critical mistake. What would you do here? I freaked out and I thought my, my position was just lost, collapsing and stuff. But instead, I could have hold on with um, knight to f4 because it stops this direct attack and if I manage to somehow win the bishop there is this nice fork um, that the knight is giving but I just missed it and went knight to g3 and that was just the end of it all I'll just continue to show this game just for the heck of it. There is this nice fork now between king and knight and now at this point I just resigned. Now this is not even 1% entertaining as I wanted it to be when I recorded it live but nonetheless I have to do this because I am so thankful to Jim from Jim Chess channel uh, for having given me this opportunity to play him. Uh, it was just um, a fun time really because I was I had the let's say half of the whole game and then I blundered and then he well he blundered and then I blundered it was just um, a very fun game be sure to check out the other game that I played against him and be sure to check out his perspective on the whole thing which will be linked down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please like it or subscribe if you're still not a subscriber because I post blitz chess videos usually so that you can help me find my mistakes and improve my game because I'm still a noob, remember? <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching. Bye.